before that, we got Xeno 155. Duel versus John Numbers winners. Semis, John going for... He actually made himself look like the me. Uh, he did it. What is that outfit? Oh my god. He's got you, like you think that's John's like superhero outfit? You think, you think like that's his dream outfit? Tire on it. It's weird. Oh Didn't he just like wear a wizard's hat? Yeah. I've never seen John wear a hat in my life. Yeah, he definitely doesn't wear hats. That looks like John because of the hairstyle. Well, yeah. I mean, that's actually his me. Like the, the me mm. he's always used forever. But the outfit though? No, I don't I know. No Chat, idea. let me know what your thoughts on, on uh, John's outfit. Yeah, I kind of need to know. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate John's outfit? Let me see some ones. Let, let me see those ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jewel off to a fantastic start. Taking away that first stock away from John. Although he did, uh, is at 100%. So if John is able to. T whoa. Wait, Jewel's DA? Yeah, as of like when last that weekend, like a few days ago. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Him and um, MGW. MGW, I see, but Jewel, that, that caught me off guard. I mean, they're BFFs, so. Um, Bistro, fantastic friends. Yeah. That was terrible. I'm so sorry they, for that. They're at, I, can, them we at, lead, can we delete the VOD? Catch them can we just the erase that comment from existence? All the time. I didn't actually say that. <sighs> Alright, Jewel sitting at 132%, all three stocks raring to go. Robin's a tricky character to fight against because unlike every other Fire Emblem character in existence, they work with projectiles. They try to ch chill back throughout their L fires, their Arc Thunders, their Huzawasits. They have a lot of books, a lot of reading to do. And on top of that, they have the Levin Sword, which deals a ton of a t you know knockback and uh, damage upon aerials or smash attacks even. So Arc Fire is really good, very similar to PK Fire in some regards. But Jules is going to play it safe, go for the forward air, and takes away uh, John's second stock. That was, I feel like John barely got any damage in that second one. I think John opted to go for this custom specifically because it gives him the ability to like reflect the projectiles back towards Jewel, but not doesn't seem to be working out. Catches him with the dash attack, and he's finally going to take away his first stock. Now, John's favorite move with this character, the Beast Sword Fighter, loves the Chakra. Loves just tossing those little suckers out because it... A lot of players struggle with how to deal with them. You know, Cat just jumps, he can throw it just, just like that. It's uh, The pressure he gets off of it is out of this world. Again, trying to play a projectile game against Robin. Jules starting to capitalize on this. It's tricky because the Chakram can catch you standing on the ground or if you have to go for a jump in, as well. Again, some headshots out here. Avoids the Nosferatu, good bait out from John. Trying to catch the jump. Because a lot of times whenever Jewel goes for a jump from that distance, he's trying to land an arc of fire on top of John. Good pressure from John. Oh, good answer. Using the arc fire to get back onto the stage, throwing it right at John as he saw he was trying to get a little overzealous with that edge guard. Have some more arc thunders coming out. I was just gonna land with some down air action. Got the Levin sword in hand as well as a projectile. Respectable projectile that John's gonna have to. Oh, Nosferatu's gonna eat, eat a lot of John's damage. Heal up Robin, gets the follow up off of. Get, he was in hit stun for like a year. Just spawns in down air. I like it. Not sure what John was doing, chilling center stage while he was on the respawn perform, but okay. 155%, Jewel literally just the smallest aerial away from getting this kill. At this point, you can just start, like, smashing the A button midair. Trying to also get, like, an L Thunder into a confirm as well, which is why you see all the, a lot of these baby L Thunders. Wait, was that his double jump? Punish? No punish. Right there, John was throwing out a ton of up tilts just in case Jewel got aggressive. He bent it all with that up B and no punish. I guess he doesn't need it. Goes for the arc fire to catch any ledge option in existence. And then finishes him off with a dash attack. Special appearance from Krom. How you doing, bro? You notice how Krom appears with that victory theme? But Krom's victory theme is not that song. And they're from the same game. Lucina has it as well. That's crazy. So, like, I hope they fix that patch 3.0. With Robin versus Krom. Yes. That's fantastic. It's weird. So, it's just like. Which one is the real Krom? What's your favorite Krom costume, Devin? Huh? What's your favorite costume for Krom? 
I feel like everyone I plays swear default. Where Chrom is like the cloud of this game when it comes to s outfits. And no, he has multi colors. They're just they're, they're just all lying. ugly. They're he has ugly. Just one outfit. Are you serious? He's they're just ugly. I think. Oh, okay. Also, his default outfit looks sick. Blue and white. That's my color scheme. I, I thought everyone had like eight, and he had one or something. Huh? I thought everyone had eight, and he had like one. Oh no! He's got like a purple one. Uh, he's got an orange one. No, I, he's I got a pure white one. You. He's got a black and white one. I don't believe. He's you. got a neon green one. I like he has a ton so. of colors. They're just ugly, so no one plays them. <laughs> everyone plays default crawl, myself included. Did John really counterpick the stage? The Meat John Fighter White. stage? Is this the Meat Fighter this stage? Is the me this is the, the Find Me stage. I see. I'm so mad. Isn't John. this like the stage with like that weird demon thing? Yeah, the, the Shadow Lord. Shadow oh, Lord? Oh, Dragon Lord or whatever, whatever the hell his name is from right. Find Me. Did you ever play Find Me on the 3DS? No, what? I think it was godlike. I had a 3DS and I gave it to my mom. You had to street pass <laughs> people in order to no. play that game. You had to like, walk by them. Anywho, I digress. Let's jump into this game. What's happened so far? I wasn't even looking at the screen. 93% on Jewel. It's going pretty much as I expected it to. A lot of projectiles. Jewel able to catch John off guard with Nosferatu a lot. This set, I mean, it goes through shields. So if it catches you holding shields like John tends to do, you usually just jump in and catch him completely off guard. Not only does it do a lot of damage to the opponent, it allows Robin to be able to heal on top of that. Again, uh, yeah, you're rolling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they just keep going back and forth with damage. I feel like John will hit Jewel Punch. Those frauds will reset back to what they were. They just keep going back and forth with that. They're trading the damage. L1 to try right. to get the kill. Whiffs the final swing of up B. Gets the back air. Fantastic tech coming out from Jewel. Able to get back onto the stage. I don't know why jo uh, John pulled back at the end of that up B because that definitely was going to be the kill. I think maybe he was afraid of, like, Falling off stage, even though he was nowhere near the yeah, ledge. Yeah, he was like literally hugging the ledge. Yeah, it's better safe than sorry, I guess. I. Yeah. But they're still sitting on the first stocks. It's been yeah. two minutes. Uh, no one can seem to find this kill. I feel like they've lost their kill conversions as well. Definitely be working on a lead right now, but uh, yeah. There we go. Just a wrap. I mean, jab into kill. Learn that one from Krom, honestly. Oh my god. Okay, one forty-seven percent on Jewel. John literally just. Needs to just smack him with a sword. Back air, up air. Ton of damage off of that arc fire. Getting hit by arc fire is so devastating for the opponent because Robin gets. You, you're in hit stun for like a year, so Robin can literally hit you with the strongest attack. Arc fire at the ledge forces an option. Very good tool for the ledge trapping. Arc fire, you're able to track, so it turns into a, a little X right there. That was just the slowest way for someone to die. You see him drift. Forward tilt's a very com powerful tool for uh, me, Sword Fighter. Gale Tornado as well. A lot of John's traps on his projectiles. He likes to throw out the Gale Tornado to force out a jump at a shield because it, that's, John knows he wants to go, the opponent wants to go for that to avoid the next uh, projectile. But then John can easily just throw a shock room up uh, in a diagonal. Catch Jewel. More forward air action going on. Just a little baby thunder. Those are the arc fire. Good uh, response from John. You saw him reflect that projectile. That was the first time I feel like he reflected anything with this character. I, I just think that everything that it reflects at like the same angle it went down. So it's just like my people need me. Yeah, it went to space. The flame died on its way back home. It checked back on the alien, alien home territory. Is that death? Yeah. Yeah. Got that back throw. I actually had no idea how strong Robin's back throw was, so I was like, 180%, you're probably going to die. Yeah. Okay, John up, or John down a stock. Jewel takes his last stock, he'll move on to winner's finals. Jewel's thinking winner's finals would be very peculiar. Oh. That And that's exactly what's going to happen. I think he got the, uh, the gimp. Yeah, let's got see the edge card. Card jump. Let's watch it again, right here. Yeah. Right oh, there, that was okay. the answer. Yeah, he, that was. And that was a good response from Jewel. The second he recognized that he hit him out of his double jump, he immediately went back on to swing yeah. again to force John into a 50-50 situation of, is he going to swing or wait for me to air dodge? And call